traders and welcome to a new video on profiting off of volatility using Bitcoin options. In my first video, we went over just the basics of puts and calls and long put, uh, shorting puts, uh, long longing calls and shorting calls. I mean, longing calls, shorting calls, yeah. And what we're gonna be looking at today is not a bias where we're looking, hey, the market's bullish, hey, the market's bearish. We're gonna be profiting off of an expected amount of volatility. So with that, I am pleased to announce that we're not going to be using that calculator that we used last time. Honestly, I don't think that that was the best idea to use that kind of calculator for options. Um, I have a much better calculator here that not only um, it, it visually shows uh, profit and loss like this. Um, so we're going to be getting to that. Okay, now what I want to do today is go over these option strategies. And this comes from this site here, which is optionsplaybook.com. I have not talked to these founders. I'm not affiliated. I just found their site and I really like it. Um, so kudos to them. Now what we want to do is let's filter by neutral and not sure. These are just plays that we can make based off of volatility. Um, doesn't matter if the market's bullish or bearish. We can profit anyway. So let's go for one of the simpler plays, a short straddle. Now a short straddle is where we sell a call and sell a put with the exact same strike price. Now why do we do this? Well, we do this when we expect not much market volatility before the expiration, at the expiration. Now, as you can see here, we're expecting minimal movement on Bitcoin. And the best possible uh, thing that we can get is to have the price settle as close as possible to the strike price, to have the index price settle as close as possible to the um, strike price. All right, so let's go do a mock example of that. Let's do a visual and see, um, see what our profit would be. So let's pick a price here um, that we would be doing a short straddle on, betting on low volatility. Currently, index price is at 85.67, so I think it makes most sense to use 8,500 for this example. Now imagine that we sell a uh, call at 0 0.037. That's just between these two. I think that's pretty fair. So we sold a call um, so I'm going to put sell call, I'm going to put sell put here, 8,500, correct? 0 0.037 is what we sold that call for, okay? So 0 0.037 on the 8,500. Now also here, we're going to be selling a put. We sell that put, let's say uh, 0 0.027. So 0 0.027, we sold a put. Let's include both and let's go see our profit in Bitcoin and our profit in USD at expiration. What do we have? Well, we know that if price settles between 79.90 and 90.10, just about between these two prices, we're gonna be profitable. And of course, we're gonna be peak profitable um, at 8,500. If price settles at 8,500 in three days, um, because these options do expire in three days and 12 mm -hmm. hours, if price was to settle in, uh, in, in three days, we would get 0 0.064 Bitcoin. Now that worth in USD would be about $544. So if price was able to settle at, at, at 8,500, we make 544, sweet. Um, if price settles at, let's say uh, 8,160, we make 204. If price settles at you know 89.25, we make 119 bucks. Now remember, this is not taking account uh, deribit fees. Deribit fees uh, are not very large for options that, that I know of. Um, but uh, this is not taking into account fees, so you do have to take that into account for the final part of this calculation um, before you run these plays, of course. Now, let's go over the not so good thing that can happen. Uh, let's say we're wrong, uh, and actually we get massive volatility and Bitcoin settles at, let's say, uh, oops, Bitcoin settles at 76.50, well then we lose uh, 0 0.047. The bad news about doing a short straddle and betting on low volatility is if we get massive volatility and three days later, um, price settles at you know 7,000, we lose a lot. We lose 0.14 uh, Bitcoin, which would be you know pretty bad. Or if price skyrockets to like 10.5K, uh, we lose you know 0.13 Bitcoin. So our profit is small, um, but likely. Um, and our loss is big, but unlikely. Now let's flip that on its head. Let's do a long straddle instead. It's the same exact thing, except we're going long. All right, I'm gonna filter by market outlook, of course. Let's do a long straddle, one of the most basic options plays that we can make. And let's do uh, 8,500 again. Now let's go hunt for prices at 8,500 and what we can go long at. 0 0.037, I think, is a fair price for us to go long on a call. Perfect, that's already there. 
Let's switch these these guys to buy. Uh, let's find a price to buy a put at 8,500. We can buy it at, eh, let's do 0 0.027. Let's just keep it the same because that is fair um, for prices that we would actually be paying for a long straddle. On this long straddle, we can see we would be unprofitable if price settles between 79, if, if price settles between 8,000 and uh, 9,000 and uh, 9,000 just about, we, 9,010, we are unprofitable. So that 8K to 9K range in three days, if it's between there, we lose. However, if price absolutely just gets demolished and, and dumps, you know, down to like um, 7225, we make 0.11 Bitcoin. Um, and 72.25 here would be a profit of $731. Uh, our, our max loss, of course, would be um, uh, the max gain you would make from a short straddle would be the max loss you can make from a um, long straddle, which would be $544 if price settled at the strike price. Uh, you know, if price settles at 96.90, we make 646 and you guys get the idea. So these are the two kinds of options plays that you can make, um, pretty basic where you're profiting off of extreme volatility or a lack of volatility. Now, I would say the most important part of this is, I have to say it's the premium that you pay is incredibly important because if we change these premiums um, for a long, long straddle to something a lot higher, I mean, if, if this goes to something like 0 0.05, let's say just a hypothetical, and this is at like uh, 0 0.08, you know, uh, eight, well, then <laughs> you can see how unprofitable, you know, this kind of strategy would be. We are not going to make any money. We're going to lose money between the price of 75.65 and 96.90. Why? Because we're paying such a high premium. Uh, now let's do a dream scenario. Uh, something that's just, you know, kind of crazy. We get these options super, super cheap at a strike price of 8,500 and we do a long straddle. Well, then, I mean, with, with a premium that good, that you're paying, I mean, your your loss is only going to be between 83.30, you're going to lose money, and 87.55, and you're only going to lose a maximum of 255 USD if price settles at the strike price. And I mean, same goes for, uh, not same, it's the actual opposite. This would be a nightmare scenario if we sold options, um, <laughs> if we sold, if you sold options for this low of a price, for a short straddle, which I just switched us over to because I put sell sell, which is a short straddle. Um, I mean, look, guys, your 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 profit is horrible. You're only profiting between eighty three thirty and uh, about eighty seven fifty five, and your max profit isn't even that high. Um, but if I did the flip side, let's say that we're able to sell and we're able to do a short straddle for a really high premium, because we just are able to to sell at a really high price. Um, dream scenario for a short straddle. I mean. If you got the prices of these premiums for that strike price, you'd you'd make a profit between seventy three ninety five, and um, and uh, oops, and uh, ninety nine forty five, and in USD your maximum profit would be one thousand two hundred seventy five dollars if you were able to sell for that high. So this just goes to show that when you're playing a short strategy like a short straddle or uh, or or selling puts or selling calls, you really want to sell at a very high premium. When we're doing a long straddle or we're buying puts, we're buying calls, we're gonna want to we're gonna want to buy for a premium as low as possible. And these premiums are really important because if you pay too high of a premium for a long uh, straddle, that really caps your profit and maximizes your losses. Now, be careful. When I'm saying long straddle and short straddle, guys, I'm not talking about the market direction at all. A long straddle means that I'm betting on I'm long volatility. I'm betting on volatility to be high. Now, when I do a short straddle, I'm not shorting the market. I'm shorting volatility. I'm, I'm really hoping that volatility stays low and that price settles between the, the um, between a, a very tight range. Now let's go back to the handy dandy site and let's go look for other plays that we can make that may be a little bit more complex. Um, we can end the video on, on uh, something maybe a little bit more complex. We can look at strangles, which are pretty similar to straddles. It's just instead of using the same strike price, you're gonna be using two different strike price for the put and call. Um, we can see that sometimes it, it's not just uh, one strike price. You can even have as much as like four strike prices for an iron condor. Um, we can look for, what do we want to do? Uh, I, I can do, let's just do a short strangle. Okay, let's do a short strangle. So this is where we sell a put and we sell a call. 
as you can see here. Okay, so let's go look for selling a put and selling a call, and we want the price to be between strike prices A and strike prices B. So for selling a put for strike price A, let's imagine that we sell a put um, at 82.50. So remember, when we sell a put, we want the market to be above that strike price. When we sell a call, we want the market to be below that strike price. So if I was to sell a put at 82.50 um, for these guys for the June 7th, I would sell my put for what, 0 0.016? All right, let's go to strangle. We are doing a short strangle, perfect. And I'm selling a, I'm selling a uh, put at 82.50. I'm gonna be selling a uh, call at 8,500. Now the price that I paid for that sold put is uh, 0.017, I'd say. I could, I could sell a put for about 0 .0, uh, 0 0.017. So let me go write that. Uh, let me go write that guy in. 0 0.017, I, sell, I sold a put at 82.50. Now for my sold call, um, I am looking at 0 0.037, optimistic, but let's just put that guy in, uh, 0 0.037. All right, so now we're doing something similar to what a straddle is when we're betting on low volatility, but this time we, we have uh, a, a bit of a wider range. Let me show it. Now this guy, I, I don't think that the graph is really optimized to, oh, current BTC price, I think I gotta change that. Maybe that helps? Oh, that does help, awesome. So we can see here that, uh, let's look for where are we profitable, where are we unprofitable. Um, it looks like this might not be the best play. Let, let's look at USD. I think that's gonna be a little bit simpler for us. Between the prices of 78.62 and 88.62, we, um, we would be profitable, as you can see here. So actually, the, this does have a uh, pretty wide range, as you can see here. So I think that if you wanna run a straddle versus running a strangle, the benefit that you get from a strangle, I think is that you get a wider, um, you, get, you get a wider margin, as you can see here. Yep. And we do not want the price to go very high up. We do not want the price to go, you know, very, very high down. I mean, <laughs> we, we don't want volatility because that's what we get from a a, um, a short strangle. Now let's imagine that, uh, I just wanna do a hypothetical guys, just to show, I know that this isn't um, possible really, but let's let's compare this to what it would be if it was a straddle. So let me say that this was at 8,500, not at 8,250. And you can see here that our margin, you know, for profitability is 81, 7, 81 17.5 up to 88.82. Um, but that, that margin for profit actually does widen, you know, when we get the 8250. You can see, you're about to see it uh, widen, but yep. So that's really the benefit of what a, a strangle can give you versus a straddle, is you're, you're, you can make more money um, with uh, price being a little bit more volatile, even though you're betting on low volatility. Now, let's do one last thing where we're flipping this on its head again. Let's do a long strangle. Um, so... I'm gonna to go to this guy and I do a long strangle where I'm anticip anticipating volatility. Okay, so for my long strangle, let's say that we do a, we buy a put at 8250, uh, buy a put at 8250 for a price of 0.01, let's do 0 0.015 um, for our bought put. Okay, bought put at 0.015. And we have a bought call, oops, a bought call at a price, a, a strike price of 8,500 with a premium paid of 0 0.037. Let's just do 0 0.037, I think that's a little bit simpler. So 0 0.037, uh, okay, that looks great. All right, so we are now uh, betting on high volatility with this uh, strangle. And it looks like from the prices of 79.90 to the price of 90.10, uh, we are, uh, pardon me, to the price of 88.82.5, we're unprofitable. However, if we get significant volatility, uh, I mean, our profit really goes up. You can see if in three days, price settled at, um, price settled at 5,000, we would make 2,750 with only a max potential loss of 442. 
So your max loss isn't that big compared to your, your profit potential, which can be quite quite large. Let's say price was at um, 10,000, just about 10,000. You'd make about $1,000. So that would be pretty nice. As you can see here. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna be sharing all these resources that I talked about today, including this. Uh, this is not something that I created my own. This is something that I found online, and I, I give all credit to this guy here. He did a really good job at creating a better calculator where I'm not just inputting numbers and figures, but we're actually seeing a visual with these options plays of, hey, if price settles here in three days, how much money do we make or lose? Not including uh, fees, which you can include yourself. You know, if price settles here in, in blank days, how much money do we make or lose? So I think that is very helpful. Um, and yeah, with that, uh, happy trading. If you guys have any questions on these option strategies, you can ask in the comments below or you could shoot me a message uh, on, on my Discord or shoot me an email for mentoring if you want to learn a little bit more um, about options. All right, with that, guys, happy trading.